Hello, my name is Dustin and welcome to a short tutorial on how to use our Storyboarder AI tool. I would like to take you through the tool and its functions so that you know right from the start how the whole thing works and what possibilities you have with it. So, let's get started. How does Storyboarder AI work? Let's just go through it step by step. You can see the interface here where I have already created a few projects, all different kinds. And when you get started, you only have this one field here with new project, where the number of projects you still have available each month is displayed at the bottom, depending on which package you've booked. You click on the plus here, and if you click on it, you have two different options for accessing the tool. Either you already have a fully formatted standardized script, so a screenplay that you can use, um, or you are still completely free in your idea and have not yet prepared much at all. Then go to the concept area here. For the sake of simplicity, I'll start with the concept area. This can simply be the name of your project. You also have the option of uploading a PDF here. This can be any form of PDF, simply any document, a synopsis, a three-liner, a treatment, a director's interpretation, it can also be several pages of concept templates that you already have, which you can simply upload and see what happens. Or if you don't have anything and just want to write your idea here, then you can also do that here in this section. And it can be very freely formulated. Um, let's take this for an example. There doesn't have to be any more information here. It can be a very loose, small idea if you just want to be inspired what the tool can do. And you can also choose a genre here. In that case, it might be a commercial. After that, you choose the graphic style of your storyboard. Let's say we'll do a mood board colored. Click on add here and we can start with a shot list. That didn't really take long at all. Just a few seconds later, the first scene starts to form and we can now see live before our eyes how the tool would build the story around this commercial. As you will see later, Storyboarder AI will also keep in mind that it should only be a maximum of five scenes. It will also take this to heart and we see how the tool now starts the story. In this case, the young man's bedroom and the next scene takes us to the Great Wall of China. So less than a minute later, the idea has been generated by the tool and we see that we are actually at a total of five scenes here. Our idea was that a young man goes on a journey around the world in search of happiness, but ends up finding it within himself. And as we can see here, Storyboarder AI has also taken this to heart wonderfully by giving him a hopeful but unsatisfied expression uh, on his face during this journey. which uh, immediately leads him to the other highlights of his journey and then to the realization at the end that he sticks a note to his chest with the words happiness, it's not a place, it's a state of mind. Wonderful. And then the whole thing fades out to the brand logo and we are in black. And so our little idea, which was just created in one sentence, has been assembled into a shot list which now, after we have all the options here to edit it, I will show you more details about that later, we can now go into the storyboard and have the storyboard generated here as well. We click on Generate Storyboard and now we can see that everything will be generated here too. The style of the images is like we set it up before. We can even see here that he has actually managed to find happiness reasonably well. We also do have the option to edit at any time. For example, if the gentleman here looks a bit too Asian because we actually want to work with a European or American model, then we can go into editing here and say close above the young man's face and add European look. Save that and refresh it. We we still have the Great Wall of China in the background, but our protagonist simply looks much more European. And so we can continue to go through the images and edit them, look at things that we perhaps don't like yet. 
the appearance of our main character has also changed a little here. We can always try to adjust the wording again so that we can get a certain consistency in the character. Even things that are now just a fade out to the logo are no longer needed as imagery. Uh, so we can then go back to the shot list and ultimately remove these shots if we want to. If we remove them here now, then in this case, for example, the last image that was just down here would also be missing and would no longer be displayed. So that's it with the part. Um, when you choose concept, I'll show you the first variant with a ready-made script now as well. Uh, let's click here and create your new project. We'll call it the magic flute and now you have the option of uploading the screenplay. Uh, all you have to do is click here and you will have the PDF on your computer wherever you have saved it and you can upload it there. This is really also a normal PDF. This is a completely normal script that is uploaded here which corresponds to the formatting of how scripts usually work. I'll also show you briefly here using the script as it really looks. In this case, it's uh, it's in German, but it can be uploaded in any language you like. This is how the whole thing is formatted. As you can see, this is the typical approach of a screenplay, how it's formatted with the scene heading, scene description, and the dialogue. Uh, as you can see, it's a very long script with 65 pages, so things like that can also be uploaded here, depending on what kind of package you've booked. Uh, once we have uploaded it accordingly, we still have the option of simply specifying the genre now and you also have the option of specifying the style of the storyboard. For example, we now have a detailed sketch in colored. We click on that and as you can see, it is here on the left now in the sidebar. The magic flute is created and we are automatically in the tab of the shot list and you have the generate shot list button at the bottom here. Let's generate. You can go now and you can edit your shot list, which will be the basis for the storyboard afterwards, as you like. What's really nice, what you can already see here, is that if we are talking about an establisher where a forest is being established, then the tool also recognizes that this should ideally be shot with a drone and from a top-down perspective. So even the focal length is already quite consistent here as it should be. And you now have the opportunity to look at all the other shots and see if something doesn't suit me. And if I don't want this shot, that I can also delete it, for example. If the second shot here plays a flute melody that I don't want as a separate shot, I can delete the shot here and it's gone. I can just as easily add uh, a shot or duplicate the shot I have here and add another shot which I can then edit as normal. And when I'm finished here and have completely created my shot list as I think it would be suitable from my point of view, I can still change things here. Turn a close-up shot into other shots and change focal length, etc. etc. Then at some point I'll I'll have finished generating my shot list. I've gone through it uh, as far as I can and switch to the storyboard tab here and now generate the storyboard based on these shots. Here we are at scene 16 of 18, all suggestions that have just been made on the basis of the shots we've given. And here too uh, we have the option of going into the into each image at any time and saying that this is perhaps too photorealistic for me and doesn't necessarily correspond to the look I had in mind. Maybe I want to change something else and don't want the bird to look yellow. Um, so we change this, uh, we simply give it a different color and save the whole thing. Refresh it and see what new things it creates for me. And it all happens relatively quickly so that I can go through my pictures step by step. I'm happy with everything at the end when everything is edited the way I want it. There's also the option of uploading your own pictures at any time using the icon here in case uh, yeah, you don't really like a picture. Uh, I can now upload anything I have in mind here using my own image and ultimately 
simply incorporate it there. Anything is possible. A completely different image, for example. That's another possibility. And another option is, once we are happy with what we have, but perhaps not every image fits, there's also the option here in the export area to download the images as individual images. And when I export that, then I get all the images that are um, in here are downloaded as individual PNGs and I can load them into Photoshop or other tools and then upload them here again. And that's uh, how I get closer and closer to the final images I need. If I'm happy with everything, I can go to the export here and export the shot list um, like the storyboard as a PDF file. Let's do this using the shot list as an example. And this is how it looks like and download it also for a storyboard here. That's uh, basically how you can use the tool. I hope this uh, has helped you. You can also contact our support team at any time in the tool itself and send us a message. We will help you at any time and as quickly as possible. At the bottom of the help center, you also have the option of going through FAQs in general if you notice something that you don't know what it means. Um, and we've also listed a few issues here and there that keep coming up. So you can go in and see how you can solve them. All right, then uh, I wish you a lot of fun and good luck with storyboarding.